Hi, I'm Todd with Terra Onion, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Super SD System 3. When we launched the SSD S3 about three years ago, we weren't sure how popular it'd be. This is due to how niche the PC engine is and lack of mainstream appeal compared to consoles from Nintendo and Sega. Hardcore gamers know all about it, but your typical retro gamer might have never experienced it. Fortunately, the SSD S3 has been extremely popular and continues to sell extremely well. So today, we have released firmware version 1.03, and it's a massive step up from the last firmware. Let's take a dive into the latest firmware and see what's new. By and large, the biggest complaint has always been about the SSD S3 interface with dual navigation tabs and somewhat difficult to read font. The separate tabs for Hue Card and CD-ROM games never really made sense as people usually organize their games into separate folders. And the font's legibility leaves a lot to be desired since it only shows games in all uppercase. We heard you loud and clear, so let's replace it with something far better. We ported over the Mega SD interface to the SSD S3 along with its much improved font. The font displays games in the correct case and makes reading the titles far easier. Also, since we got rid of the tabs, you can display all your games, mixed hue cards, and CD-ROMs in the same folder. Subfolders are marked with a F icon, hue cards with HC, and CD games will obviously be CD. Since we got rid of the need to switch tabs, this allowed us to completely change the controller button mapping as well. The new button mapping is more logical and you're less likely to accidentally go into the options screen and change a setting. The two button now makes selections, navigates into folders, and launches games. The one button is the back button and select goes into the options screen. Another new feature of the new SSD S3 firmware is the ability to press the one button and go back up one folder. Instead of navigating up to the top of the interface list and selecting the up icon, you can from anywhere in the game list press the one button and go back one folder. This is a great quality of life feature. Something that will be apparent really quick is that folder navigation is extremely fast. Going in and out of folders regardless of how many games are present is now extremely quick. We ported over our directory caching code from the Mega SD to the SSD S3. This makes it feel very responsive and quick to navigate. Let's dive into the options menu by pressing the select button and see what has changed. With the new firmware we've added a couple new options. Reverse menu 1 and 2. This basically reverses what actions the two main face buttons do. When enabled, 2 becomes the back button and 1 the launch game button. This is essentially the Japanese button config for people who prefer that. The button labels at the bottom of the screen even change. Neat. Seek time emulation. This is another feature that we ported over from the Mega SD. When enabled, this makes SSD S3 simulate the time the CD read head takes to move from a part of the disk to another. Loading data will take a bit longer, but will fix CD audio desyncs in most games. Regardless of this option setting, the CD read speed will be the same as original hardware as it only affects the seek time. And the last new option is CD Mono Mix. When enabled, this option mixes the CD audio down to mono and inputs it back into the console. This is useful for PC Engine LT owners who want CD audio to come out of the LT. This will also require bridging two points on the SSD S3 motherboard to have the audio mixed back into the console. There are some other miscellaneous improvements here to talk about as well. Selecting a US BIOS now loads Japanese games like original hardware. Previously, there was a bug in the SSD S3 firmware where if you loaded a US BIOS, certain Japanese games would fail to load. This has been corrected. Also, there is a new screenshot tool with expanded genres. The RPG genre is one of the new ones added to it along with adventure, visual novel, and romance. And the last new feature is per game BIOS support. You can still go into the options menu and select a main CD-ROM system card and this will work with the overwhelming majority of the CD and Super CD games. However, there are a handful of titles like Altered Beast that require a different BIOS version to work. So we've added per game BIOS support. Simply copy the appropriate BIOS into the same folder as the game CD-ROM images and SSD S3 will automatically use that BIOS instead of the system card selected in the options menu. Overall, with firmware 1.03, the Super SD System 3 feels like a completely new experience. We have fixed all the interface complaints that customers had, we've improved game compatibility, and even added in some nice quality of life improvements like the back folder navigation and directory caching to speed up folder listings. We know it's been a long time in the making, but we feel that the new firmware will make you fall in love with the PC Engine all over again. Make sure to go to downloads.terraonion.com to download firmware 1.03 for your SSD S3 today. Before we wrap up this video, stop by our Discord and say hi. The team is online every day, and we have a very large community built up over there. On behalf of all of us here at Terra Onion, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. 